All right, so you have a pillow. You always want to go two inches down. So if your pillow is a 20 by 20, you want to find 18 by 18. If your pillow is a 22 by 22, you want to get a 20 by 20. If you have a 24 by 24, you want to get a 22 by 22. This is a 24 by 24, so I got a 22 by 22. And the key to getting your pillows in there, a lot of people get frustrated because like, it's so big, oh my gosh, I'm going to rip the zipper. No. And it, it, it's not supposed to be the exact same size. It's going to be a little big because you don't want your pillow to look wrinkled and when you place it wherever you place it, it's going to sit nice and firm i'm not a pillow chopper i don't like chopped pillows and if you've been rocking me for years i've never chopped my pillows but let me show you how the pillow looked because i did cover one pillow already and then we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to get this inside this actual pillow cover okay before we cover this fluffy pink pillow this is the pillow here that is the duplicate of the one that's inside of here already See how nice and full and firm that looks? A nice fluffy pillow. You see the velvet? Loving it, right? This is the same pillow. Let me show you. When you put this on it, you'll be like, oh my God, it's not big enough. It's really not big enough because it's not the same size, right? It looks like it's too small. No. You want it to look like it's too small. It's going to protrude outside of the spots because you you have almost two inches of extra fabric which is what you want in order to get it inside so i'm showing this big fluffy pillow don't buy new pillows buy covers because you already have the stuffing you already have a firm foundation for your pillow and i've been showing this for years not only that if you don't have any pillows i have a video make sure you talk to me in the comments so i can link it I did several years ago when I did a room make a surprise room makeover for someone. I literally showed you how to go get the cheap pillows from Walmart and cut them open and use the stuff inside of those to stuff your covers if you don't even have extra pillows laying around. If you purchase pillows and you know that you like the pillow, you got this was a pillow from um my daughters and I'm repeating myself because I'm actually in my office slash um, reset reload Zen room meditation room and I'm doing a makeover but that's going to be on my other channel so talk to me in the comments as well so I can leave the link for that channel so you can see the room makeover of what I'm doing it is so freaking beautiful which is all this stuff is going to be implemented okay so uh, this was my daughter's old pillow she has new pillows now um, and new covers or whatever and I literally had uh found a great deal on the actual pillow so i ended up getting her some new pillows from i think i was from home goods home goods and so we didn't use these and this is a big pillow and it looks like this is definitely not gonna work right definitely not gonna work definitely not that's what you want this pillow has some give and it looks bigger than it is because of all of the fluff you know you're looking at the fluff but when you flatten it it's about a good inch down so let's get this in there what you want to do is you want to unzip your pillow cover <laughs> you want to take your pillow and you want to fold it like that you want to fold it and when you fold it you want to take the folded part and you want to place that inside of the case right as deep as you can get it now it's going to start popping open, but what you want to do is bring your hand down and continue folding down a little bit more because it is big and it can mess the zipper up. I've done it before rushing and you can pop the zipper and you won't be able to get it in and you get frustrated. See, look, as I'm squeezing, I'm bringing my hands down the pillow and squeezing the closer I get to bringing the pillow in and see how it's easily going in. You want to fold it like a burrito like a hot dog one and then when you get to this point you just take the pillow you go in with your hands and see how it's a lot of extra here well it's not in there correctly you want to make sure the seams line up and you want to go in there and you want to push the pillow into the spaces that are void you want to push the pillow in push 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 with your hand now the pillow is in you just need to get it on, <laughs> get it in the cover and get all the spaces that are void filled with this fabric of the pillow. Then you flip it over, you press it down, press down, press down. 
Now, this is going to be the tricky part. When you're pressing down on this, you want to make sure that you press down and zip because you can pop the zipper easily. So you're holding it with your hand, your forearm, and you're zipping as you go. But you want to make sure that you're getting that pillow in there as it should be. And because this has the furry stuff, you want to guide your hand with it as you zip it because you will zip the furry stuff up and then you can mess the zipper up. You don't want to do that. So now we're going to zip, push, zip, push, zip, and push. And look, that same case that looked like it was too, too, too small for the pillow, you have now put the pillow inside. Two inches lower than the size of your pillow. I hope that this helped you and I hope that you um, enjoyed the video. If you did, talk to me in the comments. I talk back and share the video. Join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys later. Gators.